assessment. There are two kinds of assessment, formative assessment and summative assessment. Summative assessment is testing, examination, things like that. Let's talk about formative assessment. In a lesson such as this, dividing with regrouping, where we want them to figure out 52 divided by 4, eventually using a formal method. How can we do assessment in lesson like this? During the lesson, students use concrete materials, base 10 blocks to represent 52, and they figure out different ways to put 52 into four equal groups. How can a teacher assess student learning during the lesson? During the lesson, we can see who amongst our students are more concrete, as in they think with the base 10 blocks, and who amongst our students are more abstract. They will discuss the ideas without using concrete materials. Another place where we can do some kind of assessment is to look at the methods they offer when we are discussing different ways of thinking. Some students are more literal, so they will talk about breaking numbers apart, 52 is 40 and 12, while others are more abstract and they think about the formal methods. During a lesson, we can do formative assessment where we can group students into two groups, those who use more literal methods and those who use more abstract methods, as well as those who need concrete materials to help them think versus those who do not need concrete materials and they can think just in numbers. How else can we do formative assessment during the lesson? When students are doing the guided practice, we listen to what they say and look at what they are writing in their notebooks and on the mini whiteboards. We can also see what they are doing when they are completing the worksheet in the workbook. Basically, we want to put the students into three categories. Those who are beginning on the runway, they are not really able to do long division. But when you ask them, can you tell me 52 is what and what? They might tell you it's 50 and 2. What else could it be? And they might tell you it's 40 and 12. So are they able to divide using formal methods? No. But can they break numbers apart? Yes. Can they regroup? Yes. And I might also ask them, what about 8 divided by 4? What about 12 divided by 4? 40 divided by 4? And if these students are able to do those, that means I do know that they are able to do division. So they cannot do long division using formal methods, but they have the prerequisites to complete that. These students are on the runway. The second group of students are on target. They are taking off. Today, we are focusing on learning long division and they are doing long division. They may need some time to figure out the methods. They may even continue to use concrete materials, but they are able to complete the task independently. The third group are those who can do it so fast that they need no effort at it. These are students on a cruising altitude. There's no effort at all. Maybe because of previous learning, they are able to complete it. During the formative assessment, we are able to classify our students into the three groups. Those on the runway who cannot do the task but have the prerequisites. Those taking off, they are on target. They can complete the task, but they take their time. And finally, students at a cruising altitude, they complete the task, no effort, perhaps due to previous learning. That's an example of using formative assessment during a lesson. If you enjoyed the video, then why not hit the like button? Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, to stay up to date with our latest videos. If you want to check out more videos, then click on the right to dive into another topic. Thanks for watching!